All right, Reed, where's the value at wide receiver for opening weekend? How about a guy that no one wants to play, Jesse? Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase, under $5,000. I believe he's at $4,800. Look, how many drops did he have? I think, you know, by if you look at Twitter, he had like a thousand drops in the preseason, right? Um, and, and that doesn't scare me at all. You look at this guy, you know, he's one of the top draft picks in the NFL draft this season. And let's remember, he didn't play competitive football last season in his final year in college. And so it's taking him some time to get ready. And I know there's a lot of a lot of mouths to feed in that Cincinnati passing uh, offense, but I'm not scared of this Minnesota defense. Patrick Peterson, you know, gave up 600 passing yards, which is his first time in like eight or nine years that he's done this or since 2014. So seven or eight years, my math's correct. Um, and I'm not scared of Breland as well. And this game should be high scoring. The Minnesota team, like I mentioned, Justin, Je Justin Jefferson and this Minnesota passing off and should do well as well. So I love Jamar Chase at $4,800. I don't think anybody's going to be paying up or paying down for him at all. Jeff, talk to me about some value. Yeah, I mean, look, I already mentioned one. I think I think uh, the range, you know, you can find value at any range in DFS. There's guys who can be 7K and value. But I really feel like for week one, the sub 5K guys, like Reed mentioned already, uh, you're going to find some real value because a lot of these guys were undervalued. We didn't know their role. And now their roles have grown. And Michael Pittman at 4,100 is a great example. We knew he was probably going to be growing into a bit of a bigger role with Indy as the season grew on. You know, obviously he's a top, you know, a fairly high draft pick from last year, had a nice end to the year, but now no T.Y. Hilton. You look at the Indianapolis Colts depth chart, they don't really have a true pass catching tight end. Where are the targets going except to Michael Pittman, who is does profile as a number one wide receiver. Again, 4,100. I'm not sure why people aren't trusting this more, to be honest. This is a, a guy who, again, was a pretty high draft pick. Um, you know, people are all high on the Carson Wentz move. Well, he's got to throw the ball to someone. I expect Michael Pittman to perhaps, you know, project for seven plus targets here in week one against Seattle, who, you know, is the favorite right now. So you're probably going to see some good passing uh, downs, you know, just passing situations by the Colts late in this game. I think Michael Pittman at 4,100 is one of the best values on the board, along with Devontae Smith, who I already mentioned. All right, Matt, where are you looking for value at the wide receiver position? The, the full answer is that I'm really trying to avoid value at receiver in general. Like, I think that the way to be different from the field is to be a little more expensive with your receivers and play cheap for running backs because guys like Marquez Callaway, Marvin Jones Jr., and T. Higgins are just, they just figure to be really chalky on this slate because all three are underpriced. So, Reed and Jeff already mentioned other guys that aren't those players. And I think you can play cheaper receivers that just aren't them. These are just, I think, highly touted picks for a long time. I mean, we get this for week one sometimes where there's just so much build up to the season and everyone ends up playing a lot of the same guys. Um, so I don't really have a favorite that's in this price range that I would call the value. But I do think what well, Reed alluded to it a little bit, this Niners game, and then maybe on the other side, you play Tyrell Williams, who's cheap. I just think like no one's playing Jared Goff. And I think you could get a cheap stack there, but maybe maybe a little safer. You play the Niners side. But there are cheap receivers on both sides of that game. Maybe Debo Samuel, too, is a little more expensive. But I do like that game for quote-unquote value. I just think it's important to mention that going all the way down to the 3,000s and 4,000s could put you on to a lot of the same players that everyone else has.